Good morning. <laughs> As you can see, the girl is bobbing, y'all. I went and got, oh, bless you. I went and got my hair done yesterday. As y'all can see, y'all like it? I literally took the we the tracks that was in my old mm, tracks that I used for my sewing that I had not too long ago. I put it in my hair and I just cut it because I said I already used it like two times, not even including me using it for the wig. So yeah, so this is my hair. I love it. I'm sitting outside of my eye care appointment. I'm about to go into the eye doctor because I told y'all before that I am running out of contacts. So I need to go ahead and get that situated. I'm off work today, so we'll be on Zoom, honey. Another thing that he can do if you don't if he doesn't want to do a dilation is we can do like a retinal photo, a picture okay. of the inside of the back. Okay. Where we don't dilate you, it gets him a better look than you know, just looking behind the lamp. But okay. without the huge dilation. Okay. I do notice, some, like yesterday, I noticed it when I was rubbing my eye, and then after I stopped rubbing, then I seen the floater. So is it normal after you rub your eye? It what, could be. What could it mean if, you know, what health issue would that relate to with floaters? Sometimes it can be high blood pressure. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it can be dehydration. Sometimes it's just naturally changing your eyes. So there's a lot of things that it could yeah, be. I don't think it's high blood pressure. I get my blood pressure checked Good. often. Go ahead and take your glasses off. Let's get a couple of quick measurements here. Top one. You can feel free to blink as often as you need. This picture will just come in and out of focus. Basically seeing how your eyes naturally react to that change. Okay. It's going to get a doctor in approximate to start with. So if you do need a change, you know basically where to begin. You may have had a change. Go ahead and sit back some. I hope not. <laughs> you may, because looking at these numbers, it looks like you're on the verge of needing a lens to correct for astigmatism. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Just on the verge, though. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to have you scoot your chair right back over to the wall here so that I can check your vision in this mirror up front. So, if you want to put your glasses on, because oh, I'm about I really to say, because girl, I can't see nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know you'll be needing those to see something. Now, looking at that mirror out front, what's the lowest line you're comfortable with? The last one. Okay. Let me see what you're doing one eye at a time. I'll have you leave both eyes open. Blink if you oh, need to. Okay. But I'll give you this little paddle. Block the vision for your left eye. Okay. All right. L-D-T-C-A. Perfect. Go ahead, cover up your other eye. Blink a couple of times, let your eyes readjust. What are we looking like now? V K C T E. Perfect. All right. Still seeing 2020 with those glasses. We checked the inner fluid pressure for the glaucoma screen. Okay. This is the one in the places a really big puff that we used to use. Oh, so it's no longer the puff? No. Oh. It's so much nicer. So this stopper goes on your forehead. Uh -huh. This part creates the air. So okay. with it closer, it's not as like yeah. harsh, but it's weird. Okay. <laughs> I'll have you looking straight across to that mirror there. Line you up. Blink as often as you need. We'll get just a couple of quick measurements for both eyes. Weird, right? Yeah. <laughs> hey, how are Hello. you? I'm doing nice good. Nice to see you. Welcome today, Kendra and I are going to take a look for you. Okay. So your lenses are, are comfortable? Your contact yes. lenses, you like that material? Yes. Okay. I like the dailies much better. Good. They, yeah. Uh, do you wear your glasses more or your contacts more? Glasses. And how about your vision with your glasses in your computer space? Your it's like, fine. monitor okay. doing comfortable. Yeah. Go ahead and take those off for me if you would. And then bring your head in here. First letter, bottom line, how's that feel? Z. It feels good. On the Z, sharper with lens one. Or two. One. I mean, sorry, two. Mm -hmm. Here's two. Uh -huh. Three. Two. Three. Ooh. Pretty close. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I was about to say. Better or worse now? Worse. All right. I'm out of my appointment, y'all. So, kept my eyeglass prescription the same because he said that they were saying that I'm on the verge of astigmatism. But I guess whatever lenses with the astigmatism, I guess it's like a different type of lens. And for some reason, my glasses, I mean, my eyes. Oh, I smell my, I was like, what is that smell? It smell like fall. But I went and got a, um, I just put in my new Bath and Body Works scent today. And I got the scent called Leaves. 
anyway he was just saying that my eyes don't seem to uh like the cylinder lens so they just going to keep it the same as far as my contacts they're going to be the same he told me to wear sunglasses or like to get this type of glasses to where they turn into sunglasses when you step outside and <laughs> Yeah, that's all I'm going to say about that. I did tell them that I've been seeing like little floaters in my eyes. Like think, like I can be looking at and I see things moving. Um, but he was saying that that is more common if you are nearsighted. Yeah, if you're nearsighted, he said it's more common. And it tends to happen like when you're looking at like a blank. Like if you're looking at home and it's something that don't have a lot of detail, like a blank wall or something like that. He was like, if you're looking at something that have a lot of detail, like you're outside, it tend to not be like that, which he's right. I really don't see it when I'm outside, only when I'm inside the house. But they wanted to, they want me, they want to just make sure that everything is okay. But he said, in order to do that, I have to get my eyes dilated. And I was telling him that I have things that I have to do today. So I ain't trying to, cause you know, I thought that when you get your eyes dilated, you had to wear the little sunglasses, the little shades and stuff. But he was saying that Fridays is really not a good day for people to get their eyes dilated anyway, because people be having stuff to do. And it's like, you're very sensitive to light. So I scheduled an appointment for October the 10th for that. I got me some new contacts and let me tell y'all, because y'all, so my insurance company covers, I think they said they cover up to a hundred and fifty dollars i think she said she said that um i need to save these because i'll be needing these like because i'm gonna order me some new glasses from zilu that was another thing it was like do you want to purchase some no <laughs> i sure don't so y'all can charge me an arm and a leg i will go right on zilu and order me some new glasses because it's time anyway these glasses are like getting too loose but um she was like well, your your insurance covers a hundred and fifty dollars and she was like we can go ahead and do 80 boxes because i wear dailies where i throw them away daily she said we can go ahead and do 80 boxes that's going to be about 500 and something dollars your insurance takes off yada 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 so you'll be paying for some mm -mm, let me stop you right there people <laughs> let me stop you right now however many boxes i could get that my insurance cover that's what we're doing and then if i need more boxes then we can we can follow up on that because i don't need no 80 boxes y'all last year I think I got three boxes last year because my prescription is the same in both eyes and I still have that was last year in like the beginning of last year and I still have contacts left over right now not a lot that's why it was the whole reason of me going to this appointment but no I don't need no daggone 80 boxes and baby I'm not about to be paying no for something uh-uh we gonna get whatever the insurance cover so I end up having to pay like because of because of the price of the boxes I think she said it was like 70 something dollars a box so I end up having to pay $14. Okay, we can do $14, but baby, you, you, let me just, you ain't even have to say nothing about no four. Uh, 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 uh. Now, um, I do want to go get my feet done. I definitely need to get my feet done today because I'm off work. So I'm trying to do everything that I need to do. I did want to get a bikini wax, but my uh, wax lady didn't hit me back yet. So I don't know if we can do that. But uh, I also need to go to Verizon, y'all, because... It keeps saying it's not recognizing it as a um a Apple product, which is weird because I never got my camera changed like from a non-manufacturer camera. Like I never got it changed at all. But one day I literally after I updated my phone, all of a sudden I update my phone and then all of a sudden my camera wanna act up, but I know I'm not <sighs> these people in front of me stop. Girl, I almost crashed into the back of this car. Uh-uh. Um, what was I saying? I never changed my camera out to a non-manufactured camera, so I don't know why is it saying that. But not only is it saying that, I can't use... So you know how on your iPhone, you got three different magnifications that you could do. 0.5, 1, and then 3X. The 0.5 does not work at all. I can't even do 0.5 nor does my portrait work when i take pictures so you know how like you can change it to portrait mode that doesn't work the 3x when i do 3x i can see but it's like these little dots for some reason like something is in the camera so the only thing that i have been able to do is 1x which i don't necessarily like that because my 0.5 it helps when i'm like 
you know, when you just want to kind of back up a little bit, you know? So, I need to go see what's going on because that mess is irritating me. And then not only that, every time I open my camera, it the, the photo portion automatically go to 2x. So, it's like zoomed in. So, I just need to see what's going on. But I do what... I need to get it fixed now because I be having content that I need to... I want to do. Oh, Lord, y'all creeped my head. But I'm thinking about getting a new iPhone that's coming out anyway. I think it says it's going to come out September the 22nd because I'm due for a great anyway. So, we going to see. But now I'm about to go to Verizon so they can see what it is and what it ain't. Then I need to get me something to eat before I go to this... Um, my pedicure point. Should I get a pedicure, y'all? Or should I just get my feet done? Because my feet is crusty, y'all. And I'm like, I need to pamper myself because I haven't really been doing nothing for myself. Like, I got my, other than my nails. Like, my nails is a given. I'm going to get my nails done regardless. That's no if, ands, or buts about that. When it comes down to everything else, it's like, I haven't, I haven't got a bikini wax. I been, my hair been, y'all saw how my hair was last vlog. And I haven't got a, my feet, my feet, Look, my feet look a mess <laughs> so it is time so that's what we doing today and y'all coming with me of course so y'all they told me that they don't help with that at all at Verizon because it's considered a software issue so Apple is supposed to fix it for you for free but now I'm thinking because in the only Apple store that we have it's like I mean it's not crazy far but it's definitely out of my way <laughs> um so I'm thinking that I'ma just try to upgrade my phone. And that way I ain't gotta just, I don't have to worry about it. For real, for real. The new phone come out September the 22nd. I was trying to pre-order it, but it was saying my account wasn't eligible for pre-order. But I don't understand why it's not. And I wanted a new phone anyway, because I don't know if y'all have seen those cameras. The cameras on, um. Like even on the 14, I have the 13, but the cameras on like the 14, that camera, y'all, it's so clear. You think that you there with the person. It is just, it's, it's like, really, it's just really sharp. And I like that. But um, I'm about to go get my nails done now. Well, not my nails, my feet. Well, that is still my toenail, but. We don't, we want us on. Did you heard? you heard? caramel ribbon crunch with extra crunch please what I would like a grande okay, so we can do that for you however we are out of our whipped cream if that's okay you're out of what whipped cream that's okay yes I would like a um y'all have blueberry muffins yes okay can I have one warmed up please sure thing anything else that's it alright I'll be 10-0 59 for you. Thank, Thank you. you. Damn. My muffin is right. I got my nails done, y'all. Mm. Gotta get used to them because it's like every time I go there, somebody different different does it. And you know, you know how like it's not like you don't like how they do it. It's just that you get it done and then it's like, oh, okay, I like this. So then that you expect to when you go to the same place it would look the same way, but then somebody else doing it, it's like Oh, okay, it looked different, but it's not bad. So it's like, I just got to get used to it. It's like, she made my French tip very much like you. Like, you. Like a you French. Yeah. So, you know. Anyway, I didn't know the Equalizer came out with another movie with Denzel. So, I'm going to go watch that. They have a 115 showing. So, I'm going to go watch that. Dolo by myself and out that's why i'm just getting something little here seven dollar ticket because it's matinee so i'm gonna do that in the meantime because i don't want to leave from over this area because the movie theater is literally like right there 
so I think I'm gonna go to um, the other day me and my son went to this Marshalls that was over here and I had saw this cup in there that I was like I'm gonna come back and get that because <laughs> I didn't want to buy it at that time y'all it was like a bright pink cup so I think I'm gonna just go and kill some time doing that since I don't want to leave this area because I'm far from my house and not only that um, Mala Harris you know the vice president is supposed to be coming here today so and she's coming like by my house so I don't want to go back home because the last time that happened it was the president and I guess he was going to like Hampton University or something and um y'all I was stuck in traffic like I couldn't even get home like I had to go all the way around to get home and try to find a way and then even to do that it was so bad traffic traffic was so bad because you know when they come they like shut down the whole entire highway so I'm not trying to deal with that so I, when I go home I want to be going home because I'm gonna be going home you feel me <laughs> my nose is very much running and it's been running more lately so I know the seasons are changing my allergies are really bad whenever the seasons change so yeah oh, let me get my Starbucks app ready and be productive be proactive that's the word I was looking for. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm doing good. How about yourself? Good. I love your nail clip. Thank you. Hey. Oh, did I pull it out so soon? Oh, no, you got okay, it. Okay, okay. Thank you. Good. Here's the frappuccino. Thank you. Give me one second for the blueberry muffin. Okay. I'm going to wait to really eat when I go to the movies, though. Because I'm going to Cinema Cafe. You know they sell food. I love me some cinema. I don't go to no other movie theater other than Cinema Cafe. That's the only one I go to. Let me taste test before I pull out. Yeah, don't do. I need some food. Here I am. It's like I always do that. I wait until the point of literal starvation and then I be wanting to rush people. I don't taste no crunch you know thank you so much nice have a good day the last time i went in this marshall y'all i'm not gonna say it was in a white area because that's not nice <laughs> but it was very much so in an area where you don't see a lot of black folks i'll say that and um and in there you know how marshall's well if you didn't know marshall's and tj maxx and ross and I'm pretty sure they have it in like other stores too. But I notice it a lot in those stores. Because you know like their stores aren't really that big. So you'll notice that if somebody is constantly like around you. It's like what are you doing? And you never have nothing in your hand. So last time I went they had this guy in there. Pretty much like following. Pretty much trailing behind me. So I will go down the aisle. He will go down the aisle. I will go down the aisle. He will go down the aisle. But I be like, you know, that used to bother me at first. As long as they not like on, standing on top of me and watching my every move, I don't care. It used to bother me at first, but I'm like, Yvette, you're not stealing, so why does it matter? But they have those, they hire those people to look like just regular customers in there. But you can tell because they just like, they never have nothing in their hand and they just be following you. But not like following you like on your tail it's like they keep us a, a safe distance away but you can tell like every time you look up they're in your eye view somewhere <laughs> do y'all like this one I think it looked good on my nails. I, I, I saw this because it had a flip top and it has a straw. So that's what attached me to it. But they got all different colors. I think I'm gonna get this one. Pink. Y'all, I just smelled this. This makes me want to throw up. I 
enjoyed the movie with my mother. It's, it wasn't, I wasn't supposed to be going with my mom. It was just spur of the moment because I called her. She said that she was getting her nails done. She was like, I would have went to, cause she planned on going to the movies today too, to go see the movie by herself. So I called her, so we ended up going to the movie together. Um, and she paid for my food, so, and I treated her to her ticket. So that was nice. Um, I just, we just left another Marshalls, y'all. I am going home, okay? Like, don't ask me to go, no, I don't want to kick it with you. I don't want to talk to you. I don't even know all the words that he said, but yeah, it's time to go home. I done spent too much money today. But you know what? Honestly, I'm not really too mad because y'all, I haven't, like, one of my things that I really, really like to do is to shop. That's one of my things. And I, when I say shop, not even necessarily for clothing, because I haven't bought clothing in a while. But, like, I love to go to, like, places like At Home, Home Goods, Hobby Lobby, TJ Maxx, Marshalls. Oh, that car coming too fast. Marshalls. Ross stuff like I'm, I'm not really too much of a fan of Ross but y'all get the picture I like to go to places like that and just shop and just look to see what I like but I haven't did that in a really long time because I've been really trying to cut back on my spending so today I took off work and I treated myself to what I wanted when I wanted it period y'all my hair been kind of shedding a lot I ain't gonna overhold you and I'm like wondering like is this gonna happen the whole time that I have this in my head because if so I'm worried that it's gonna start thinning out because I'm wondering like why is it shedding like this why uh, it wasn't shedding like that before mm -hmm. I'm drinking Aquafina which I never drink but I did not bring any water with me and I am so thirsty and when I order some water at Cinema Cafe, that's the only water they have. But, of course, I'm going to show y'all what I got. I'm going to show y'all once we get home. And honestly, y'all, that's all I'm doing for the rest of the night. I'm not going nowhere. Don't want to go nowhere. Don't want to spend no money. Don't want to do none of that. You can't see my face right now because... My tripod, my, uh, I ain't got time, listen. I ain't got my tripod right now, so right now y'all sitting on my water bottle. But, I bought the Snoop Dogg wine, right? I did not know you had to use a dag on, it was, I didn't know it had a cork. So here I am, screwing in a door stopper that fell off. And I'ma try to look y'all, this is so ghetto. Do you just pull it out? They need it to go put it in trash. <laughs> this is something that they should tell you, honey. How do you pull this out? I mean, it's screwed in there, but oh, it seems like it's coming out. Oh, here it goes. It's coming. It's coming. Do this pop? No, that's not champagne. I'm scared. Oh, it's coming out, y'all. Y'all see it? It's coming out. Lower. They need to tell you this. Do I tell you up here that I got a cork? Cause listen, baby. Ooh. I did that. <laughs> Let's see how this wine tastes, y'all. So when when it has a cork, you don't have nothing to cover it up, huh? I don't like that. What's the difference between having a cork? I need to put y'all on something else that's taller. What's the difference between having a cork and um It is a sweet wine. It need to be colder cuz I like my wine chilled and I had it in the refrigerator for a little bit now but and the alcohol percentage on that one is 13.5. Stop. Look, I'm about to put these kids to sleep. Happy Saturday, you guys. So I'm currently out here at Noel's football game. You know, Noel's my eight-year-old. So the family out here. He's so far away, but I did walk up there to get a clip for y'all. Because I can barely see y'all, but I'm here. I got my sunglasses on. <laughs>
per doctor's order. The twins over here. We we busted out their um stroller, y'all, because we haven't used this stroller in so long, but we had to bust Why it out. Why do that? Stop. Why you drop it on the floor? Y'all, they just had a touchdown, but I missed, I wasn't recording. I was too busy looking. <laughs> but the score was 6-0, so I guess it's tied now. Yeah, but I got a good for two. Okay. What is that? Hey y'all. Lord, the dead on staple got me, y'all. The staple in the bag. Anyway. I am making burgers and fries tonight for dinner. I ordered an order from DoorDash, their Dash Mart, um, because I didn't feel like going to the grocery store. And they had a coupon for 50% off. So I did that. Let's make sure everything is in here, y'all, because I ordered this literally less than five minutes and said it was on its way. So let me make sure. I'm going to tell y'all what I ordered. I ordered red onions, a tomato two jars of the prego spaghetti sauce spaghetti noodles and two celsius i think that's it <laughs> it's pretty oh they got it it's double bag Oh, it's, it's strawberries. I forgot that. Here go my two Celsius. I drink this before as my pre-workout for the gym. Two sauces. Spaghetti noodles. Onion and tomato. That's what I needed for tonight for my hamburger because I like to eat that. And strawberries. And they actually picked some decent strawberries for y'all lately. <laughs> I have not been having good luck. I'm not going to show y'all how I make hamburgers and fries because it's hamburgers and fries. Like... <laughs> Their dad went out. I don't even know where he went to, nor do I care. <laughs> but all I know is I'm home alone with the twins. Stop! And I've been having to talk to them the whole time. But that's all I'm really doing tonight, honestly. I'm not doing anything else. They have an hour and 15 minutes before bedtime. And I can't wait. Do you hear me? I cannot wait i got the spaghetti oh look now it's bleeding i got the spaghetti sauce because i might cook spaghetti tomorrow elijah and noel loves the spaghetti so um i think i, I feel like i always cook spaghetti but like when i'm on here <laughs> but i really don't cook spaghetti a lot y'all i cook it i mean once a week is that a lot because <laughs> that's like I cook it once a week that's all I'm doing for the rest of the night tomorrow I'm gonna show y'all everything I got from Marshall's I did go to Target too but I just I didn't get much but I'm gonna show y'all what I got um from Marshall's and Target tomorrow I'm gonna be kind of I'm gonna definitely sit down and plan content tomorrow's definitely gonna be a Sunday you know planning cleaning planning and cleaning something and then now all of a sudden it's gone yeah that's my mood right now 
so sorry. I'm about to go to, I don't know if y'all can even see me, y'all. It's a little bit dark. I'm telling y'all, I cannot wait until I get my sunroof. I know I said I was gonna get a new car for my birthday, y'all, but the opportunity just did not present itself, honestly. And I don't even think that I'm, like right now, it's not the time for a new car. But I definitely, eventually, definitely need a new car because I had to renew my insurance policy and y'all the price of my insurance went up so much because I have a Kia and if you aren't aware of what's going on with Kias if you have a Kia like I, I don't I think it was like from 2009 to 2019 or something somewhere between those years um, insurance policies are denying you or hiking your insurance up because of the Kia boys. You know, the Kia boys that went popular on like TikTok because you could literally steal like a Kia, a Hyundai, and I want to say it was Toyota. I don't know, but I know for sure it was Kia with just like a USB cord. So a lot of Kias were getting stolen. So when I went to renew my, um, you know how like every six months you have to renew your insurance policy, I was about to renew it and I was like, dang, the price went up so much. So the lady was like, well, you can shop for like a new policy instead of trying to just renew your policy to see if you can like, you know, just pretty much start over with a new policy. And um, they denied me. They denied me because it says that I'm at high risk for theft. I was like what i ain't never had my car stolen <laughs> but then the little lady was like oh yeah the kia boys yeah the kia boys it's time for a new car but because of that and other reasons i'm just outgrowing this car i'm grateful for my car let me make sure i say that i always try to em em um emphasize that i'm very grateful for my car because my car never had any major problems i've had it since 2012 it's paid off property insurance is low yada 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 my car insurance was low but now it's went up again because of kia anywho be thinking like okay if i was to get a new car everything will go up property insurance i will have a car payment and car insurance will go up so yeah but I'm on my way to Bath and Body Works, y'all, because I need some plugins. I need about four. One for the office room, one for my room, one for the boys' bathroom. I might need two for my room, because our room is a good size. So I like to smell it, like when I walk in. And I notice that when I put it in the plug by the door, yeah, I smell it when I walk in. But like once I actually enter the room and get to my side of the room, it's like I can't really smell it as much so I might need two for my room but um, by the time y'all see this video the sale will be over because it is tomorrow at 5 a.m. so that's why I had to make sure I went today because their plugins are $2.95 and they really I don't, I've never seen it get that low honestly and it even said in the email this is the lowest that it has ever been so I'm gonna go ahead and get me some while it's on sale. I also have a coupon, like for my rewards for Bath and Body Works, I have a coupon to redeem a free item up to $6.95 in value. I wish they let you do it to where like, I can get plugins until I get to $16.95, but no, it gotta be one item. So like, if I get a plugin, that would be dumb because the plugin is only $2.95. So I might as well get something that's, you know, a little bit more in price. So I'm thinking that I'm gonna get a candle because I just switched out. I told y'all that I switched out my car fragrance in here to the fragrance, it's called Leaves from Bath & Body Works, y'all. If you are a fall scent type of person, I mean, this scent is just fall. Like fall, fall, fall. It's just, it screams fall. So now I gotta find a pack. <sighs> I was also looking for my lip gloss, but I can't find it. I can't find nothing. That car is. Look at this car, y'all. Y'all see that? Why would they do that? Why would they mess up that car like that? I know these people behind me, like, what are you doing? Move out the freaking way! 
Baby, I'm trying to find a part. You can't go too fast because you know what I'm saying? Somebody might pull out. Oh, there go part. Let me get that. Yeah. Let me slide up in there before somebody else try to slide up in there. All right, y'all. I gotta take this down. I gotta take my camera down. Usually I just vlog off my phone, but I need to take my camera down so I don't wanna try breaking my guy. I'm about to go to the hair store and get some uh, gel for Kaylani because I need to do her hair today. Me and my friend was supposed to be going. Um, she asked me if I wanted to go day drink. And my first thought told me to say no, but I haven't seen her. So I just was, I told her yeah, but then she was saying that she had something to do. So it kind of worked out because I really didn't need to go, y'all, because I need to stay home. I need to I already wash Kaylani hair this morning. I need to do her hair though. And I need to finish doing laundry. Clean up the office room to prepare for a new week. Right now my content for the week y'all. Because honestly. Y'all hear me say this all the time. All the time y'all. All the time. I don't know. I'm going to keep saying it until it come. Like I just get out of my head and just do it. But it's so much content that I be planning out and don't be doing it week after week after week. And I feel like the only way to make a change is when you get tired of your own BS. So that's where I'm at with that. I might go sit down in here and eat some sushi right quick. Something quick. Just by myself. But, oh, here we go. See? But I didn't bring a dag on tripod. God dang it. Chopsticks. I should have brought my tripod, but I don't have it. So, yeah. Like, how do you do it? I don't know. Oh, let me take a picture. Y'all, I don't know how to use chopsticks. This one has real crab meat. Um, let me bring this closer instead of trying to go like that. Real crab meat. Oh, Lord. Avocado. Rice. I don't know what up. <laughs> but it's good. Alright y'all, it's time to go home. Okay, that was quick. I was in and out. She even said, you were so fast. I mean, it won't that much, honey. <laughs> but it was good. It was fulfilling. Like, that's why I like sushi because, I mean, of course you can order a lot if you want that. But I didn't want to order a lot. I just want to, you know, 
I, been, I enjoyed my weekend. I feel like this is the first weekend where I actually did things that I wanted to do by myself. And like, it really gets to, a, you get to a place in life at times. Well, I don't know about everybody, but I just know for myself that it's like you start to love yourself so much and just enjoy your own company so much that you don't mind going to do things by yourself. Just like Friday, I was gonna go to the movies by myself, but you know, my mom ended up, me and my mom ended up going together, which I did enjoy spending time with my mom, but I just don't mind doing anything by myself, y'all. From shopping, the only thing I probably wouldn't want to do by myself is like going out of town, even though I see people do solo trips, but I don't think I'm there yet, only because it's like, if I'm going somewhere that I've never been before, I would prefer to go with somebody that I enjoy their company so we can just have fun together. And like, I just, I, I don't know how I would feel about traveling by myself. Because sometimes I need somebody to come with me to keep me accountable to like, no event, you're not sitting in the room. We're about to go somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Because baby, listen, the way that I will sit and go to sleep and just enjoy sleep because I feel like I can't really enjoy sleep nowadays ever since having the twins. It's like, even though I'm not waking up in the middle of the night with them anymore, they still have times where they wake up and like they'll be beating on the door for us to come get them because they want to come sleep in the bed. Like last night, I put them down early, y'all. I put them down at like seven something because I was so tired. And um, how did I get on the sleeping part? Oh, because I was saying that I would go out of town and enjoy my sleep. And that's reasons like that because I feel like a lot of the time I can't just sleep like peacefully. Like, just peacefully. No interruptions. Waking up when I want to wake up. Laying down when I want to lay down. I haven't been able to do that in a long time. So, I, I if I go out of town, that will be me. Forgot. I forgot. I got to go get Kalani Jail. Okay, I'm going to do that. And then we going in the house. Okay? We going in the house after that. And then I need to get the moving. I don't know what order I'm going to do everything. But let me just tell y'all what I need to do. I need to cook dinner. I need to do Kehlani hair. I need to finish doing laundry. And I need to clean my um, office room. And set up my little decor that I have. My candles or whatever. And show y'all what I got. And then that will be the end of this vlog. But we still have some things to do. So no worries. Um, but yeah. I'm about to go get this jam that we going home. So first, let me show y'all what I ended up getting from Bath and Body Works. Okay, so this is the wall plug that I end up getting. It's like, it's this chrome pumpkin. So I liked this one. This is what I use my, for my reward. It was actually up to $17.95 off, but I got this. So this is what I got. And then I end up getting five of the wall plugs. So I got two, two pumpkin apples, two of the champagne, champagne, apple, and honey. I thought this smelled good. And one of the leaves. Moving on to Marshalls. I got me a new toothbrush, you guys, because I saw that this one, was it on clearance or was it just $20? I don't, oh no, it was just $20. But I saw this one. This is the Philips Sonic Care 4100. Um, the reason why I got this is because I was I have been using a manual toothbrush. But before that, the reason why I was using a manual is because my electric toothbrush, I would clean the bathroom. And you know when you clean the bathroom, you take the toothbrushes out so the product, so like bleach and stuff won't get on your toothbrush, like in the air. And I think the twins picked it up and threw it away or something. I don't know. But anyway, I got this toothbrush. This is the cup that I went there for, y'all. Y'all see? It's big. It is a... 40 ounce this is a hydro peak and it has it to where you could do the flip top can y'all see that oh <laughs> flip top or straw so you can do it like this and pour it out your mouth or you can do the straw i probably will use uh I don't know depending on what I'm doing because I do hate sometimes when I wear my lip gloss and it gets on this part so yeah got some new measuring cups not that I needed any you guys I really didn't but I just like these ones aren't these the cutest 
and they match my decor in my kitchen because y'all know my decor in my kitchen is kind of like wood silver black whatever so i decided to add a pop of gold in there because i like the, the mixed metals because one, before i moved in this house i was like i want white cabinets gray floors yada 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 but now that i'm in it the next house i would get would definitely have like a warm color floors because i just feel like it adds warmth to your home so i got this one this is a one fourth cup one third cup half a cup and one cup i thought these were cute i saw this and i got this this is the aztec secret um indian healing clay because my sister had sent me a video of somebody doing like a detox bath for their toddler and it helped them talk and y'all know khalil is not saying any words so you know i don't want to say that he's like not talking like I, I try not to speak that he's not talking or it's a speech delay he's just on his own time right now but i do want to make sure my baby can talk you know what I'm saying? so this is part one of the ingredients that it required so i got this because i did see it on amazon i think it was like i want to say twelve dollars and it was six dollars in marshall's i saw this claw clip hopefully my friend doesn't watch my video yet <laughs> because i don't want her to see what i got for her but i got this claw clip for my friend chelsea because her mom passed away and she said that claw clips was something that her mom loved and ever since her mom passed she likes claw clips so i saw this pretty butterfly one with pearls on it so i got that i also saw this shirt in marshall's i almost didn't get it y'all almost because i could tell somebody tried it on because the shirt is kind of like you know how you could tell when somebody was just in a shirt but i just thought it was too cute and I was like, you know what, now that I'm back in the office, well, now that I have to go back in the office, I thought this was cute. So I'm going to wear this this week. But I am going to wash it. Can y'all be washing y'all clothes before y'all put them on the front door? I usually don't. I'm going to keep it a buck. I usually do not. However, since I know that somebody was in that, I'm washing it. <laughs> this is the pumpkin that I got to put on the, um, on my desk for fall because I thought it matched the pink in my room but it was still fall because it's a pumpkin and this is actually a led lighted candle so let me go ahead and open it up oh i don't think it's an actual candle i need two double a batteries yeah i'm gonna have to see hopefully we have some here so i can see how it look y'all know i can't go nowhere without getting another journal y'all so I got this pink journal. I've been into pink lately, which is weird because I've never liked pink ever. I remember when the twins took their first um, newborn pictures. I told her, I don't care what color, but no pink. <laughs> but I've been liking pink lately. So it says, you had the power all along, my dear. And it says, Glenda the Good Witch. So it's just another notebook. So I got some, this is why I said I wasn't going to get any candles. I got this candle from Marshalls also, mainly for the look of it. But it smells so good, y'all. Smell it. Oh, this smell good it's 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 um what is it oh papaya and mango it smells so good oh my gosh so that i got that i want to say i got three candles to be honest i got this one to go downstairs this is pomegranate and vanilla this one smell good too don't it smell good oh i like that one I'm a candle girl. Candles are my favorite. That's why I told y'all today that I was not going to get a candle from Bath and Body Works. This candle, it's not really like, it's Fig and Magnolia. And it's not, I don't know. It's, it's, it don't stink. It's just not my favorite. But I mainly got it to put on the, on the, on, on my um desk to match. <laughs> That's the, my main reason. So those are the three. Oh, oh my gosh. What in the world? Is this really a candle? Because I just accidentally hit my daggone pumpkin. And look what it did, y'all. Do y'all see it right there? I mean, you can't really tell, but I can tell. I got to be careful because this stuff on it is like... It's easy. It moves easily. I also got these containers because I do have glass containers that I use. Like if I want to pack something 
for lunch you know what i'm saying if i'm doing um meal prep but i really don't have containers that i could use for when i cook big meals and i have leftovers and i don't want to put it leave it in the pot so i got these this is a set of three airtight food containers it's airtight and leak proof freezer safe food safe and this was 12.99 it's a four cup one 7.3 cup and a 14 cup so I thought that this would be pretty cool, especially like if I cook spaghetti, because what we do is I'll cook the spaghetti and then I'll leave it in the pot that I cook it in and just put it in the refrigerator. So this will, you know what I'm saying, take up less space. I did get some clothes, y'all. Okay, hear me out, y'all. This is where the Delulu set in, okay? If y'all know what the Lulu delusion set in. I saw this skirt, y'all. They had different sizes, but I was like, what size will I be next summer? <laughs> so I got a size five. Yeah, I know I'm delusional. Okay, don't mind, mind your business. I thought this was so cute. It's like a, it's a jean skirt and it has a split at the bottom. And I just thought it was so cute. Like I could really see myself styling this. And I didn't want to wear buy for the size I am right now because why would I do that? Why would I do that? And then I saw some, um, some graphic tees in the men's section. And I was like, man, I, I really, really, really love graphic tees, you guys. So I just, I bought, I picked up some to wear, like if I'm just doing something on it to go. Like to go pick up the twins, run into the store, instead of just having me put on something that looked raggedy, raggedy. Because let me tell y'all, yesterday, was it yesterday? No. Friday when I went to the movies with my mom, I didn't have no makeup on y'all. Y'all saw how I looked. But I did have like, you know, a shirt on with um, a nylon skirt that like um, bunched up on the sides. And my mom was like, oh, you got all dressed up. And I'm like, see, people so used to me looking like a bum that when I dress up, it looked like I'm dressed up when I just was trying to look nice to go outside. So anyway, I got this shirt mainly because I like what it said. It says, trust the timing of the universe. It has your back. And it has a sun and moon on it. Uh, also, the Nirvana um, shirt that y'all saw me wear yesterday to my son's game. That was also one of the shirts. And then I also got this one because I see this number. Well, this is I see angel numbers all the time. But this is just one of them that I see. And this one says 555. Changes are coming. Transitions will. Not them having grammatical errors. Changes are coming. Transitions will restructuring your soul's path. It, they meant to say transitions will restructure your soul's path. Okay, honey. And then they say on, on the back, it has the different phases of the moon. It says the moon is telling you something. It just tell you the full moon, waning, gloat, wait, oh, waning gibbous. Um, so the full moon harvest endeavors, waning gibbous, introspect, third quarter release and let go waning crescent surrender new moon new beginnings they even spelled beginnings wrong that's why this shirt was in there why they say new beggings lordy d I'm wearing this in the house honey waxing crescent set intentions trust no first quarter take action wow how did they manage to or not a whole shirt with grammatical errors like that and then i got some clothes for noel so i'm gonna just go through these right quick i got some sweats for him because he loves sweats honey he hate when i make him wear um jeans i got this cute skeleton shirt that i'm gonna let him wear skeleton on the skateboard i'm gonna let him wear it in october i got him another pair of sweats in navy blue and then I got him two more shirts. This one matched the navy blue sweats. So this is just a stripe, like a Henley top shirt. And then I thought this one was cute. This is a dinosaur on it. And then lastly was when I went to Target. And for Target, I got, I did get some paper plates. I also got my Dr. Bronner soap. And I also got some more foam, I mean, some more hydrating facial cleanser. So y'all know I use the CeraVe. I usually use the foaming facial cleanser. This time I use, I started using the hydrating facial cleanser because I'm like, my face is dry. But what I don't like about the hydrating facial cleanser is that it doesn't foam up. And I know they say foam doesn't mean that it gets your face clean or whatever, but it's just more of like a mental thing. I like to see the foam. So now they have one that's a foaming hydrating facial cleanser. I think it's called like cream to foam. So I got that. 
I'll show y'all how it looks just in case y'all interested in it. But I also got some Febreze. Um, this is the scent Bamboo. I got this to go downstairs. I got some more dry erase markers so I can plan my content because the one, the dry erase marker that I have, for some reason, it's like when I use it for too long, it start like dripping out the ink and then it just, it, it gets all over. And I got some more highlighters because I needed some more of those. And, oh, and because I spent $25 on skincare products, I got a $5 Target card. And that's it. That's the haul, you guys. That is the haul. I'm glad I got that out of the way so I can go ahead and use my toothbrush because I've still been using the manual toothbrush and I'm like, ugh. I just need to go ahead and show them so I can use this toothbrush. Dang, this thing got a core and everything. Lord, it did. Jesus. I ain't trying to charge my toothbrush now. I already got other stuff I need to charge over my life. Oh, they have an oh, it's look cute though. It look all legit. Got a green button at the bottom. I looked it up online and I want to say this one in Target right now it was like $60. Maybe I should read the instructions. So I, oh, could I put it up there right? It's small town. I guess being this small, okay. Oh. God dang, this thing seems powerful. Okay, well I guess I'm gonna go ahead and charge my toothbrush so it won't be going dead in the middle of me brushing my teeth now. Nah. Then I'm gonna have to clean up this mess y'all and clean up this room. It shouldn't take too long to clean up honestly because it's not that. It will look like it's more out of order once I show y'all because I just literally um, opened all this stuff. But it's honestly not that bad. Now my toothbrush charger. Kind of vibe a little. It's probably meant to sit on a shirt. <laughs> Let me bring this over here because it seems like it's kind of having a hard time standing up straight because it needs to be on a flat surface. <sighs> okay, y'all see my toothbrush charger? <laughs> All right, y'all. That's it for the haul. So I'm gonna go ahead and what time is it? You got some double A batteries? It's raining? Uh uh. Do I have something that I know of? Um, I think it's a set of two somewhere. I look for them up downstairs. I think I put some batteries in my book bag. The, a set of two that was wrapped in something. I don't know if it was wrapped in something or not. But I didn't know if I didn't throw them away because I didn't know if they were like old ones or if they were still good. Uh, you got any like cash, physical cash on you? Uh-uh. Who hit you? Who hit you? Girl, get out my camera. Bye. All right, y'all, I'm about to cook.
Yeah. I already showed it to him. And you're not even in the camera. Showed them all of this, Kelani. Huh? I showed them this already. I already had a um uh wall plug. What's these called? Wall flowers? I already had one, so I'm gonna just use the same one. She's trying to show y'all everything that I bought. Plug it up right here. I'm gonna take this toothbrush in the bathroom. Along with this stuff. Come on, let's go put a shirt on you. that's like not in order so when it starts getting out of order and it just seems like it's like stuff written on pages all throughout i like to get a new notebook when i just need to stop doing that you know this is my dad on dad's father's day card that i was so i forgot to take i forgot to write in it and this is a fitness journal but i do need to write in this and actually give it to him even though father's day was back in june book book this is a mouse pad and another journal i mean another planner okay i'm gonna go ahead i need to get a wipe to wipe that off oh here go the target card i need to put this somewhere i'm gonna see it because i will forget honey these kids are I went and got my pants from downstairs. These are the only type of pants that I use. I'm already having problems with this pumpkin, y'all. Because it's just not like durable. It e easily washes off and everything like that. But I gotta look at it from the other way. I need something, something missing. Something missing. how stuff be looking from this way <laughs> because the cords and stuff but when i'm facing looking out i like how it looks i'm gonna go ahead and wipe this off to prepare for a new week because i did not even do <laughs> the stuff over here so my goal for this week is to do the stuff that i write up here is that so hard to do with that? But in the meantime, you guys, in the meantime, in between time,